All right, hello again. Mrs. Conway here to go over um, numbers 9 through 13 in your quadratic review packet. Um, in numbers 9 through 13, we are just factoring the greatest common factor. So we are only taking out what is common to both terms and then um, writing what is left over. So for number 9, if you notice, we have 2x squared and 8x. What is common to both of those is a 2x. That is my greatest common factor, so I'm going to take out a 2x. Write what's left over. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. Negative 8x divided by 2x is negative 4. So my greatest common factor is 2x. Writing what, what is left over is x minus 4. For number 10, I'm going to look for what they have in common. My GCF for number 10, notice they both have a 5 in common, 1a in common, and 1x in common. So that is what I'm going to take out. And now I'm going to write what's left over. If I divide out a 5, I'm left with a 1. Take out an A, I'm left with no A's. And take out an X, I'm left with 1X. From the second term, keep the minus sign. I take out a 5, so that leaves me with 3. 15 divided by 5 is 3. I take out an A, which leaves me with 1A. And if I take out an X, I have no X's left, so therefore X minus 3A is what I'm left with. Oh, let's go back here. GCF is equal to 2X. GCF for number 11. If you notice, they both have a 2 in common, but they don't both have a y and they don't both have an x. So the only thing that they have in common is a 2. So that is what I'm going to take out. So I'm left with 2 y squared minus 3x. For number 12, GCF, they both have a negative 3 in common. Since my leading term is a negative, you, you probably should take out a negative 3. If you took out a 3, you wouldn't really be wrong. It's just usually better to have a leading coefficient that is positive. So if I take out a negative 3, I am going to be left with um, an x squared. And if I do 18 divided by negative 3, that leaves me with a negative 6. So I'm left with x squared minus 6. And then finally for number 13, this one's a little bit longer. If you would um, like to use a longer process of finding the GCF, feel, please feel free to do so. But really, you just need to know what they all have in common. If you notice, all of the coefficients have a 4 in common. So that is the first thing that I'm going to take out is a 4. They all do also have an x in common. So I'm going to take out an x. The only y that is in common is in the first term and the last term. Since the middle two terms do not have a y value, I cannot take out a y. So therefore, all I'm taking out is a 4x. If I take out a 4x from the first term, I'm left with 3x cubed y. If I take out a 4x from the second term, I'm left with a minus 2x. If I take out a 4x from the third term, I will be left with a positive um, 5, no x because the x was taken out. And if I take out an x, uh, 4x from the last term, notice the 4 and the x will go away, and all I'm left with is a minus y. Okay, this concludes the explanation for numbers 9 through 13, which is factoring the greatest common factor.